See, this is like, I can't. <laughs> hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. I have a very special guest here from Barbie. Please say hello to Zlatan. Hello, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm like it's so nice to have to be you here. here. Thank you so much for coming oh all this gosh, way. He is here for Fashion Week with the one and only Barbie. So of course I had to have Z over at my place and talk Barbie. We are going to talk about the new holiday Barbie that's out. So many of you guys have requested her. Yeah, so many. How fun is it working for Barbie? Oh my god, it's like the best job ever. Yeah. I really, I honestly, I have the best job ever. I you cannot do. complain. You really do. Um, I get to play with dolls like every single day. Every single and, day? like what little and gay boy. I know. Like, doesn't want that. <laughs> that is like literally what I've wanted to do my entire life. That's so cool. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about um, your role at Barbie. Of course. So I actually, I work for, Barbie is like one of the brands that I work on. It okay. isn't the only brand, but it's like my sort of like biggest, the, the biggest brand that I work on. Okay. Um, and I am an art director there. So okay. I actually do, um, I sort of, I do all of our like uh, social media art direction. Not okay. all of it, but like it's mostly like the girls channels. I make things like look good. Yeah. So I yeah. work, you know, we have the most amazing team at Barbie Style. Um, it's a huge team at this point. You know, it started yeah. off really small. Uh, but now it's you know we have all sorts of different like PR marketing we have like an amazing, amazing. agency in New York yeah. our fabulous like design team yeah and we all work very very closely together on this project it's it's truly like you know it turned from a passion project to like this I would almost say like a brand of itself it's yeah fun. I have a Barbie tattoo oh so my god you really you, do yeah. I've never seen that <gasps> It's like it's a little number one. Yeah, it's her With the shoes and the sunglasses. I know. Oh, I wish I had it a little more cinched in the, at the waist. <laughs> but. We have here the 2017 Holiday Barbie. Them cheekbones, <laughs> though. Uh, the cheekbones are redonkulous. Her face is beautiful. I'm very intrigued about the star business here. <laughs> I'm so excited to open it up and just, like, try to, like... I know. Because I don't know how it works yet. I haven't really, like, had my hands on it yet. So yeah. I'm kind of on Barbie's style, it, you know, like, we, we really do treat it as, like, this, like, one sort of singular character. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the channel really is, like, her own. And then she yeah. has all sorts of, like, amazing friends that come and visit. Oh, whether it be she just, like... great friends. Her, like, friends. Friends, Ken, like celebrity friends, uh, but you know she really is the star of the show. I love that. I actually am a Barbie collector myself. I know you. I know was going to ask you about that actually. So I've always loved Barbie. Like I've always been like a little gay Barbie kid. Yeah. Like that was always like literally number one toy. And how it, did you discover her? I grew up in uh, Bosnia and Croatia, Amazing. and like you couldn't yes. just buy like Barbie anywhere. You could literally only buy her in like like duty free shops, and oh, she cost a bloody a fortune. fortune. I can imagine. Um, we also had like my great uncle lived here most of his life so like he would always send my sister's dolls Aww, which uh, or my sister dolls which I always, always sort of took and then when I started working at Mattel I was like you know what like this is okay like I can do this yeah I'm gonna collect some Barbie dolls yeah, good it's for totally you. fine it was calling my name was the the BFMC line I just I loved oh the God. chicness the yes. fabulousness yes. The, like the fabric the accessories the, I know um uh, she's gorge I really, I want like a full length jumpsuit in that fabric. Can you imagine? <laughs> this would look good on you. Thanks, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a lame, no? It's like a polyester lame. I believe it thinking. is. Mm -hmm. Certificate of authenticity here, here in the back. I honestly, I never even go back there. Oh, really? Because I'm a deboxer <laughs> myself. I yank that stuff out of the really? box and like the box goes, I have way too many dolls to like have keep the boxes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I like your system of like switching dolls out. Ah. Currently, like we have, um, a Barbie room, which is like Barbie room, office, okay, guest room sort of a thing. And I have like an entire wall just shelved top to bottom. Okay. And they just sort of sit there. So I want to get uh, rid of that. Yeah. But like I want to keep my dolls. Are they so I have exposed? To, like, they are. Oh, okay. They are. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like it because they're real dusty sometimes. Are they? <laughs> Even your fancy ones? Oh, really? <laughs> I dust that thing like once a year. Do oh you? God, it's so embarrassing like once a year. I'll show you what how I dust it. I have like makeup brushes. I have clay to makeup brushes that I oh, use to dust. who has time for that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Stand is underneath her feet down here in the bases in the back. I'm just undoing all of her trappings here in the back. Oh my god, you are I'm so being patient. So, I know, I'm being really careful. I, <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel bad when I like tear apart the boxes. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm just like, I know, I can see. <laughs> How do you get basting stitches out? Do you just yank those out too? Oh my god, girl, I literally yank everything out. And but does that, that damage the fabric? Sometimes it does, and then you just hide <laughs> it a little bit. Better own a little teeny tiny Barbie-sized steamer, don't you? No. What, what do you mean? A teeny tiny Barbie? They sell these, I think it's actually called like little steamer. Or like this little, it's like okay. a little handle. 
It's adorable. It's cute. And okay. you just go like, meh, meh, just spat at you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love spit. Um, <laughs> when it comes to like, even like, you know, the way things like look and like outfits and stuff, again, like okay. we have a fabulous team yes. that will like get outfits sort of ready for us. And okay. then when we're actually like shooting on set, I get to. <laughs> like we shoot a lot on location and sometimes yeah. like we might you know have a doll dressed in like an outfit that looks really great you know when we're like planning the shoot but then when we get okay. to location like you know we run into all sorts of different like conditions weather like wind yeah. you know the just like the color like the general space so then you might have to adjust on the go do you have a secret for this pulling the tabs yeah, out. Yeah, can I show you? Yeah, show me, please. Oh my God. I actually just yank it out all together. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay, so, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I do. But come on though, it's like then she just turns around and she's like, what, <laughs> what? Oh my God, she has Way a little braid. Cuter. Oh, I love her little braid. Did you oh, see that? Yeah. Oh, cute. It lays really pretty. It does like, pretty. lay really pretty. What is your secret to like making the hair look pretty? Because on Barbie style, her hair always looks fabulous. Well, I mean, on Barbie style, she's got like a glam squad all the time. Well, all yeah. you need to do, you just need a little bit of water and okay. just a little rat tail comb. <laughs> She's like an amazing shape. I, I think is. like it has obviously it has gel in it because of transportation. Well, yeah, it has to. Boxes because it get has really to be... staticky. What I usually do is like I just like I play with whatever like the shape is. So I just okay. sort of like I might take like each curl, comb out some of the gel. Okay. I might like wet it a little bit. You look so scared for a second. No, no. <laughs> I love all the colors in her hair too. Oh, I, didn't I like that it's that. never like black. There's like some copper in there. Girl, Carlisle, mm, you did it. It's like some subtle and cute. Up in the Ooh, should we put the star in? Ooh, let's do it, girl. Okay, do you want to do it? Sure, okay, sure. Go ahead. So it, there are literally two little, um, little just like loops. loops. That's that's a good word for oh, it. And cute. Claire, wow. What an interesting idea, <laughs> huh? Oh, she has a nice manicure too. She does. Oh, well, wow, I noticed on the toes, she does have like a uh, toenail oh, petty cute. as she well. Oh, she has a little petty as well. Gorge, yeah, I love a good petty. Oh wow, she has little clear snaps. A See, nice I love update. Velcro. Do you? Tell oh, me about that. Okay, so I love Velcro because it lays flat. I know, a lot of my doll designer friends say that. Tell me a little bit more about like some of your favorite parts of working at Barbie. My favorite parts of working for Barbie, it's like honestly, at the end of the day, like, it can, you know, it's a job like any other job. There are days where it can be really stressful, of but course. like I get to play with dolls. That's yeah, I think cute. my favorite part of my job has to be just, just like playing dolls. Yeah. It's like, I feel like I never grew up and it feel, there are times where it just, like feels surreal. I it's bet, like, I, I really, can imagine. Like, this is my job. Like you are interacting with the Barbie. You really are responsible for handling the Barbie. The Barbie, That has yeah. to feel, does it do like pressure at all? I mean, yes and no. Yeah. Yeah, I think at this point, she and I are so tight. Mm. I know that girl better than like, I you feel like really I do. know her body better than my own. And like, that is the truth. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this gown. It's really cute on the inside. Oh, look, there's like a little facing in here. Oh, are these ribbons? That. There's like ribbon straps. It looks like like metallic grow grain maybe yeah cute little darts on the inside uh -huh. to give her some shape i mm -hmm. love that i think we're both just gaga over how soft this feels <laughs> i love this fat. i'm serious like, like i want i want something like carlisle so wherever boring. you got this girl i need a couple of um, save a few yards for i need a couple money. of yards for it please i love and the I also ruching love, in the middle i do too i love that ruching i love the little gather and i like the way that it kind of kick pleats out into this whole business right here. That's a slit too. Huh? That is a slit. Is a People have like a weird thing about legs. I've noticed like, you know, I really? love me a good short short. Yeah. People are scared of legs. Oh, why? Girl. It's a good thing. I don't know. Mm. It's like I got good legs. I'm gonna show them off. <laughs> so does she. I do love that sort of a uh, that leg formation. I love that model muse leg uh, configuration. You have this hand and then you have the like the, and I think it's the Mackie. Yeah. It's like, a, it was specific to like a Mackie doll and I know every mm -hmm. once in a while they use it, but she has the like really pretty, like sort of her fingers are like- Yes, I have, like I have white those. fingers, yes. I love them. I have a couple, on that one hands. right there in the very front. Girl, that's, they're, they're separated. Uh-huh, yeah. they're cute. Yeah, and you can actually put like a little ring in there if mm -hmm. you wanted to. That's my favorite. Me too! <laughs> I love it. Her makeup also is really, really pretty. Oh my God, I know, it's like, like I guess you'll have gold. to hear- Gold? There's like gold in it. She has like, it's almost like a smoky eye. Yeah, ooh, oh. It's, it's like, like it's like an It's like an underneath smoky eye. She's got some gold on the lids there. She's got like some black cat eyeliner. I do love gold, I have nice. to say. Nice, like, yeah, me too. It it's pops. a good gold. The I love the red lips. 
love, love, love. It, I think it's the same color as her manicure. Mm -hmm. It's got a little rouge on, you see that? Mm -hmm. All the way up to her temples almost. Tell us about your Barbie closet. Are and you like, like super organized in how you lay no. everything out? Yes and no. I mean like my doll room like wall is like pretty pristine, but okay. it just, it's, it's pristine because it like just stays that way. I don't like ever change it or dust it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> There's always Barbie stuff everywhere at my house. When you're traveling for Barbie, mm -hmm. Like, how do you pack stuff? Like, are they, is it compartmentalized? Like, are you pretty, like, OCD about it? Because I'm kind of the most, like, unorganized person in the world. What? I can, like, manage a little bit. When I travel for, like, for Barbie, it's like, I have, you know, a luggage, a piece of luggage that's, like, just all of Barbie's okay. stuff. Okay, okay. I have my own stuff, and then right. I have my shoes and another one. Oh, hard on. Uh, okay. I always travel with, like, eight clutches, because you never know. <laughs> You never know. That is true. What other brands do you like work on outside of Barbie? I work like primarily in our girls brand. So like okay. I work on the other Barbie channel, which is targeted more towards like kids and moms or okay. kids and parents. Okay. Um Monster That's High. At, at just Barbie. At like Barbie. At Barbie. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. And I work on Monster High, Ever After High, oh, Enchantimals. Cute. I have a lot of amazing male followers mm -hmm. who are either just coming into doll collecting or have been doll collecting all around the world and um, many of them are in cultures that are still a bit more conservative mm -hmm. and I think you know you and I can understand that coming totally. from cu cultures yeah, that yeah. are very conservative what advice would you give to a little boy a little girl or not so big boy or girl yeah. about just kind of pursuing that dream and following it through oh my god like you just have to do it like you know, really right? just have to do it. like I, I I can tell you a little bit like about I know you know a little bit about my story yeah. but um, I grew up in Bosnia Bosnia like not very like queer friendly especially mm -hmm. like late 80s early 90s yeah. and so like I stuck out like a sore thumb but like I did not care <laughs> I wanted those Barbie dolls oh. so bad and how was your mom and dad with it it was fine it was like honestly like it wasn't ever an issue for me um you know there were definitely issues when it came to like you know I think other people like seeing me playing with dolls okay um I, and I think that was a little bit um I just remember like being aware of it as a kid, but like just th like thinking like, oh, who cares? I'm still gonna play with my dolls. I'm still gonna make those like little beds out of cardboard boxes. <laughs> yeah. If I can give parents any advice, like please yes, let please your do. damn kids play with anything they want to play with. Okay. Oh my god. Seriously. I played with everything as a kid. Like I played yeah, with no, the Green Army Men. Like I played with oh, like did you? I didn't play with those. Yeah. Um, I loved airplanes. I still Ooh, do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I, I like talk dolls stuff. all day long. I know. Girl. I love what that. Is with no, I love that. I feel like I'm always crazy when I'm trying to talk dolls like with my non-doll friends and they're like mm, oh, that, you just, that's, that's nice. why you just don't do it when barbie comes to new york for fashion week mm -hmm. she has a pretty busy schedule oh my gosh yeah. um does she ever have downtime does she ever just get to kind of go hang out um with miss honey at the park or is of she course. always just kind of go, of go, go, go yeah no i she has she definitely has downtime she you know when we do like when she does fashion week she doesn't only do like shows and things like she will actually like hang out with friends that's cute <laughs> my favorite barbie's favorite pastime is like just naps what <laughs> there you, know? you go oh, God, it, like matches your bow tie <gasps> yeah Suresh, it's stunning hold on <laughs> oh girl yeah here we have it you guys this is the 2017 <laughs> holiday barbie this is miss nikki Oh, you're just, okay. You're just I'm just gonna <laughs> hold it. Oh, I wasn't gonna put it in there. She is a gorgeous doll. I love her skin complexion. Uh -huh. I love the hair. The little braid detail is cute. I, um, I think she would be a fun addition to your collection. And, and if you guys are like us and you're out of the box collectors, right? Play. Yeah, she'll be like so fun to redress. Um, there's so many amazing outfits that I can think of that will look beautiful on her. If you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon mm -hmm. ding, next to the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Make sure to add me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. So until we see you guys again, Barbie Z and I are going to head down to the Beekman Hotel downtown. Absolutely. Yeah, what are we're, we going to be doing there? We are going to like a fabulous party. Yes, Barbie's going to like right. walk in like this and then Znoink's outfit <laughs> change. Wherever you guys are in the world, we're sending you so much love. Big hugs from me, Z, and Barbie here Hi, in New York. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much for coming. Kisses. Oh my gosh. So much fun. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Gonna do it the year away. Oh, of course. Nothing of course. but. I will see you guys again next Thursday for another video. Bye.